Good morning, trailblazers, and welcome. This video is gonna be a little bit longer because they, we finally got an answer about what was going on with grades and quarter three versus quarter four. So get comfy. So what you really need to know is that the Board of Education met on Tuesday evening and they made a whole bunch of decisions and I have attached the whole email where they announced all those decisions on Power School for today but I wanted to really dial into the parts that are most important to you. First of all, why are we even having a conversation about grades? According to the state constitution of North Carolina and the laws in place about school, every student in a public school is entitled, not can have if they want, is legally provided with an education that is fair, an education that is addressing their specific needs, and an education that is serving both their academic needs and their needs as a human being. So what this means is that because you guys are all at home right now, home is not an environment that we can legally prove is best for your learning. For a lot of you, you've already said home is not what's best for your learning. You'd be learning way better if you were at school. So because of this, we're trying to make sure that our rules and our grading practices are reflecting the fact that we're not able to give you the kind of education we would give you if you were actually in the building with us. So let's start with third quarter. What they've decided is that the last day of third quarter is March 13th, which was the last day we were all together face to face. What they have said is that you have until the 11th to finish any makeup work that you might have in any of your classes for third quarter ending March 13th. You shouldn't have any makeup work for me. People that had makeup work for me, I got in touch with the first week of e-learning because that seemed like a good use of our time. So none of you should need to email me and go, do I have stuff missing? What about now? Do I have stuff, what, what? And if you do have a question, you're like, yeah, but like maybe I do, go check third quarter grades. You know how to do that. If there's a blank spot, don't worry about it. Because of our switch to e-learning, you didn't have a chance to do it. That's okay. If it has an orange little exclamation mark, it's missing and you need to do something about it. Okay? So that covers us for third quarter. Fourth quarter officially started when e-learning started. Now, what the district has said, I'm gonna read it to you and I wanna show it to you because I don't want there to be any confusion. Fourth quarter e-learning will continue based on the essential learning necessary for students to be prepared for the next grade level. So we're trying to make sure you have the skills that you need to go be successful in seventh grade. Teachers will continue to support learning, provide feedback, and record grades. These are all things that we've been doing since e-learning started. All students will be supported through this time and will not be penalized due to the current e-learning environment. You need to use your inferencing skills to decide what that sentence means. That's the end of the paragraph. That's all that they gave us. So you need to infer what that means. That means that we'll be continuing to put into grades, we'll be continuing to be posting lessons and activities and practice in all of your classes. The goal here is not to do the exact same things we would have done if we were in face-to-face -face class. The goal is to prioritize and do the things that you need the skills for for next year. Like we didn't get to suspense and mystery in face-to-face -face class, so we'll be doing it now during e-learning. Okay, we didn't get to do nonfiction the way we would normally do it in class. Part of my job is to teach you how to look at nonfiction and analyze how it relates to fiction. That's why several of your groups, the rainbow groups, have done nonfiction things, articles, that support the fiction that we're reading. Because part of my job is to teach you how to compare and contrast different pieces of writing that are about the same content. That's why we're doing what we're doing right now. Speaking of rainbow groups. So, rainbow unit assignment number four is due today. Remember, today is the last day of classes before spring break. So, just get that assignment done and you are good for me until after spring break, all right? What's going to happen after spring break? 
is that orange, yellow, green, blue, and indigo are going to pick back up on the novels that they're in the middle of. Red is going to start a longer piece of text. I'm still making a couple of decisions about what that's going to be and what that's going to look like because again, we're prioritizing what is most important and Red Group just finished A Scandal in Bohemia. So we're going to kind of play with that after spring break. Speaking of spring break, I'm on spring break too. I will not be checking emails. I will not be making phone calls. I am going to be out here on this deck reading my books, grown-up books, not young adult books and drinking tea and being a bum, and it's gonna be great. I'm gonna play my video games. I'm gonna go for walks outside. I am not going to be working. Neither should you. Take a break. School is a lot if you're wanting things to do and you're like, ugh, I'm so bored, I can't. That's why I have the Extend Your Learning page on Power School, and you're more than welcome to go do that. Absolutely more than welcome to go play with any. Rainbow Unit Grades. So the rainbow units assignments one, two, and three should already be turned in. I have been doing back-to-back -back meetings with people over the last couple of days. So if you've turned it in in the last two days, I probably haven't noticed yet to update it. All right, I am cycling back through those as fast as possible. I know many of you have sent me emails saying, I turned it in, why is it not updated in the grade book? Because I've been meeting one-on-one -on -one with people and I just haven't looked at it yet. Be chill, be cool. I haven't even emailed all of these people that have said these things because I'm working on it. Be chill. It's fine. I'm not going to disappear onto spring break until I get caught up on grading. All right? You'll be okay. Don't freak out. That's my motto lately is don't freak out. It'll be okay. All right? As always, let me know if you have any questions before five o'clock today because then I'm going on spring break. Be brilliant and I'll talk to you soon.